the former New York City all city football player is 29 years old gives up two inches in height to Klitschko who looks taller than 6 5 but is listed at that height one and a half inch reach advantage for Klitschko against the long armed Barrett and Vladimir outweighs Monty by 23 pounds rules of the bout with our unofficial ringside scorer Harold Letterman the Vladimir Klitschko Monty Barrett fight is scheduled for 10 rounds non title using the rules of the British Board of Boxing Control only the referee will decide the winner. There are no judges. There is no three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight, and you can be saved by the bell in the tenth and final round only. Jim. Monty Barrett won two Golden Gloves championships in New York after his stint as an all-city football linebacker. And you've seen him once on HBO. Last year, he had a spirited battle with Lance Mount Whitaker in Las Vegas. Try to find an opponent who's taller than Vladimir Klitschko. Whitaker is at six feet eight. Monty Barrett won the early rounds against Whitaker, but ran out of gas, lost all of the last four rounds, and lost a split decision. That's the only loss on his record. He's exactly the kind of fighter who could pop into contendership and now making his if he could ring, score an upset over he Vladimir here ready. and steal the spotlight. 23 wins, one loss, 14 KOs for the boxer, Monty Barrett. The story of the Klitschkos we've told you before. Born in the Ukraine, their father was a colonel in the Soviet Air Force. Both Vitaly and Vladimir were raised and conditioned to be athletes and eventually to become boxers. And as Larry has already told you, Vladimir won the super heavyweight gold medal in Atlanta against Haya Wolfram of Tonga. And that gold medal, Jim, now resides in a museum in Kiev in the Ukraine, a museum with a room devoted exclusively to the Klitschkos. Only one loss to the American veteran Ross Purity, 33 victories, 31 KOs. In his last performance against David Bostis, he was devastating. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen from London Arena, Panics Promotions and Main Events in association with the Sports Network and HBO present the co-featured match of the evening brought to you this first bout in association with the Universal Promotions and Cedric Kushner Promotions. This bout is sanctioned by the British Boxing Board of Control. Your man in charge of the action as referee who also scores the contest as the sole judge should it go the distance is Richie Davies. And now, ladies and gentlemen, 10 rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 15 stone, 10 and 3 quarter pounds, or 221 pounds. Wearing leopard trunks, he brings a professional record to the ring consisting of 24 bouts. That's 23 victories, including 14 knockouts with only one defeat from Queens, New York, USA, presenting Monty Two Guns Barrett. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing blue, trimmed with yellow. His weight, 17 stones, six and one quarter pounds, or 244 pounds. He's wearing blue with yellow, and his professional record consists of 34 bouts. 33 victories, including 31 by knockout with only one defeat. He's a former Olympic gold medalist who now holds the European title. It's not on the line tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, from Kiev, Ukraine, the European heavyweight champion, Vladimir Klitschko. Okay, fellas, you've both had your instructions in the dress rooms. Give me a good, clean contest. Good luck to you both. Shake hands. Vladimir Klitschko claims that prize fighting is an art form. Monty Barrett intends to show him that it is also a heart form. Like you told us, 
One of Barrett's big arguments on behalf of himself here is that he sparred with Lennox Lewis in the weeks leading up to this fight, and he figures, hey, my experience with Lewis is going to make Klitschko seem a little bit easier. What do you think about that, George? Is it good to spar with the champion of the world, or does it reduce you a little bit because you're really working for him? Yeah, it does reduce you a little bit sometimes, but it, but it all depends on the mannerism with which you go into camp. You've got to believe that you're the champ sparring with another champ. Did you ever give tips and pointers to sparring partners? I really did, but a lot of times the, the tips were stay out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> but I did spar with Sonny Liston, and who was very cruel, and I had to learn to defend myself. And occasionally, I would get it. Not much. Right. Barrett is better. Stay out of harm's way by moving left and right. Vladimir's job is to just get that power out there. Don't try to be a boxer. Never show anyone that you're a good boxer. Go for the knockout. Well, Barrett said that he would try to step up inside Vladimir's jab. He acknowledged, he said, I can't stay on the outside, be at the end of his power, and have a chance to win. So far, he's not made any real effort to get inside. Yeah, what you do, you place yourself certain inches away from the man, about two, two steps and just stay there. It's not about st jumping back and just standing out of range. Just stay close. Don't jump in and out. Stay close. Left and right, though. Woo! Hard left hand by Vladimir. Down goes Barrett. First time in Barrett's career that he's been knocked down. And you get a taste of Vladimir's power. That was about a six-inch little left hook. That's what you want to do. You don't want to demonstrate any boxing technique. Show these people that you can hit. Well, an early knockout over a fighter like Barrett would be a confidence builder for Klitschko. And Monty still has not recovered from that little left hook. Yeah, he was just right in range. A little close, you got to stay and don't get any further away from that power. A lot of men needs room. If the bout were to go the distance, the big idiosyncrasy here in Great Britain is, in a non-title fight like this one, there are no judges, and only the referee scores the fight. Does that make any difference at all to the fighters, George? It makes a lot of difference, because one man can see things one way, and three can see it a little differently. That knockdown could have this judge from this point on thinking, this guy's beating him. One knockdown could change the mind of one man, but not three judges. So it makes the fighter a little more nervous about the outcome. I would be extremely nervous. The one thing that's very obvious here is how well coordinated Klitschko is compared to his brother, compared to most big guys. The way he throws short punches. He caught Barrett with another left hook there, and then a right hand. Now Barrett is trying to come back with guns blazing. He's going to make it out of the round. But it was a wobbly first for Monty Barrett at the hands of Vladimir Klitschko. Put your hands down, going back. All right? Keep moving the head side to side. Water, please. Keep moving your head side to side. All right? The jab is working perfect. Just keep stepping over the jab, all right? Here we go. Only time you get hard, all right? Don't move back straight. That's why you got caught. And keep your, I tell you, keep your hands up. That, left, that right hand came down. They were at very close quarters, breaking. It was a clean punch. The referee was not in there. Uh, the referee had not separated them. They had separated themselves. A very, a terrific left hook did the job. You got something? Yeah, Jim, you know something? We don't have the referee uh, microphone with a mic on because the British Boxing Board of Control won't let you. I think the referee may have yelled break. I mean, I think yeah. he hit him on a break. There, there was no break. question. They were tied up, exactly. and the referee doesn't have to step in. All he's got to do is yell stop, step G back. Give us a, give a us step a back, and Klitschko hit him with a left hook. It, that was a sucker punch if I ever saw one. Yeah, well, the, the sucker was, was bad because he didn't have his guard up. <laughs> give us a break, Harold. <laughs> <laughs> 
George, you're always talking about how big fighters, tall fighters, need to fight tall and take advantage of their Amen. stature. Amen. No better said. Does Vladimir do it? Vladimir should stay tall, use his jab, don't even put his head down in the range of Barrett. And that's when the trouble can start. Keep your head. Right. See his head is even with his shoulder now. His head should always be where it's supposed to be, away from the action. Keep your fist in there and your head away. Barrett starting more aggressively here in the second round. And he survived the first round by moving inside after Klitschko was able to hurt him from the outside. So you heard Eddie Mustafa Muhammad doing nothing to try to diminish Barrett's confidence, saying, move your head side to side, stick your jab. This isn't all that bad. Let me tell you, he is still in re recuperating from that left hook that he received earlier. Body shot. Vladimir goes down to one knee. Referee rules it a slip. Barrett does better when he put his head right on Vladimir's chest. Keep it there. Try to find his chest, as Joe Frazier would say. And keep it right on his chest. Takes a certain bravery, doesn't it? Oh, it's, it's easy because the bigger man wants room. He's not protecting his chest. There's that quick left hook as they step back away from each other again. Vladimir is accurate with that left hook. And he has a good right hand also. All right, so you heard the disagreement between Larry and uh, Harold about that left hook and whether Vladimir hit on the break. What's your take, George? I agree with Larry this time. The guy had his hand out there. He stepped back and he dropped his hand and got caught. Hey, the last thing the referee says is protect yourself at all times. And it wasn't a dirty shot at all. It may not, may not have been a good shot, but it wasn't dirty. Come on, quick this time. Let's see some one get shot a couple more. Round two coming to a close. Look at that power. That's the kind of power you don't want to be hit with. Watch your side. Watch your side. Barrett is actually able to extend Klitschko into the third. He's the first Klitschko opponent in the last five fights to make it out of the first two rounds. That's how hot Vladimir has been coming in. Head is on his chest. That head should stay right on Vladimir's chest. As we go to Klitschko's, Klitschko's corner where they speak German, our translator is Sven Gleifun. Be careful. Be careful. You have to hit him first. You sometimes you wait too long. You, you let him come. And he bends down, and then he's right there. You have to hit a right hook upwards. Right. Left, right hook, left, right hook, combination. And from the side, you have to move. And, and move backwards. Take a step back. Interesting copy box number from round number two. A very conservative Vladimir Klitschko threw only 20 punches in the second round. Monty Barrett landing 13 of 44. So if officials were looking for an early round to give to Barrett, they had their chance in the second. Now Barrett is fighting a proper fight. Stay low. If you're lower anyway, get even lower. Make your man drop his head down to your height rather than trying to get up to his height. Let him go, Barrett. Come on, take the arm down. And when no action, when there isn't any action at all, stay, keep your head on his shoulder. Third time that Klitschko has wrapped Barrett with a left hook as they stepped out of a clinch. Obviously, it's a move he's polished. He's so quick with that left, and he wobbles Barrett again. Barrett apparently is trying to make this a, an ugly street fight, feeling that Klitschko is your basic stand-up European. Good left hook to the body by Barrett that time. The first time he's aiming into the body. 
Barrett promised that he would get to Klit Klitschko's ribcage. Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, Barrett's trainer, quite forceful on the point that he felt like Eastern European fighters, Klitschko included, generally lack heart. If you punish them to the body, they'll eventually wear down. As the judge said earlier, that Vladimir is trying to sucker punch him. You better protect yourself at all times. You back away unprotected, he's going to get you. Now, if Barrett leans in like this and keeps his head against Vladimir's chest, he's safe, and the fight gets more and more and on and on. You frustrate the big guy, then you start out boxing him. But strength and conditioning will become an issue for Barrett because he's got a huge man leaning all over him. Oh, you start to burn out, you start breathing, and there's no oxygen. Also, also it becomes an almost unwatchable fight, guys. <laughs> Klitschko almost landed a right hand. Now he lands a left hook again. Barrett gets back inside and whacks away to Klitschko's ribcage. Right, Barrett's corner should tell him, look, exactly where you got hit. Keep that hand right there in that position and throw it. As soon as he throws his hook, try to throw it at the same time. There's a welt underneath the right eye a elbow right. by Klitschko. of uh, Barrett. Right. Where's the elbows? Lisko is doing a little elbow in here. Yeah, he did. He hit him with the right elbow. And he could make the case that he didn't have room to do anything else. Oh, but he's, a, he's one of those kind of fighters. So the fight gets a little bit uglier, minute by minute. Round three concludes. Nine years ago, when it was a game, brought sports fans a perspective on baseball never seen before. Color home movies interwoven with stories of the days when baseball truly was a game. In the tradition of When It Was a Game 1 and 2, HBO and Sports of the 20th Century proudly present When It Was a Game 3 as we take a retrospective look back at the 60s, the last decade, really, in which baseball players were indentured servants to the lords of the game, premiering this Monday night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern and Pacific time. Bring the left foot back to the top. Come on, it's going to be that foot to go on. Okay. All right. Jab, jab, jab. Sit. Don't tie yourself up. Let your hands go to the body. Now let your hands go inside. Here's a drink. Here's a drink. Let's go to work, baby. Barrett said that after his fight with Mount Whitaker, his seven-year-old daughter asked him, where was your uppercut, Daddy? She may be asking that right now. Harold, how do you have it scored? <laughs> okay, Jamaica a two to one, 29-27, Vladimir Klitschko. Okay, okay. Simply okay, because, you know, he, he deserves an extra point for that knockdown in the first okay. round, suck a punch or not. But, you know, Monty Barrett's starting to get to him, and Vladimir's starting to slow up. But you gotta watch Vladimir's right hand at every clinch. Barrett, turning it into a little bit more of a street fight. That's what he wants. Klitschko indeed has slowed down offensively through 20 punches in round two, only through 26 in round three by CompuBox numbers. That's very low punch output for an active athletic heavyweight like Vladimir. But Barrett is crowding him, clinching, holding. So far, Klitschko's most effective punch has been the left hook. Klitschko is doing a little taunting himself. Come on, he's, he's telling Barrett, come on. He's a street fighter also. Hard right hand punch to the midsection by Barrett. Klitschko trying to push Monty off of him. And Monty, who was, of course, a great tackler as an all-city linebacker in New York, holding Vladimir all the way around the waist with both hands there for a moment. You got to stay close. You got to stay close if you Barrett. Vladimir has got to start opening up. The more confidence that Barrett gets, Oh, he can rain on his parade. Ooh, what a left hook to the body by Vladimir. And Barrett fires his own and an right elbow. to the body. And an elbow. Vladimir okay. throws the left to the body and elbow to the head. That's what you want to do. Hook with the hooker. Make him afraid to hook. Down goes Barrett again on a close-in left hook by Klitschko. There was also a right hand that looked like it landed on the neck or the back, and maybe even the back of the neck, but it's an official knockdown. The judge did not even wipe off Barrett's glove. 
Klitschko just missed connecting flush with a giant left hook. He got caught with one himself. He got caught with the counter right. That's right. So Barrett has been down twice. First two knockdowns of his career. It's doubtful that Klitschko has ever been in this kind of a brawl. And, and he's handling it pretty well. Yep, he's mastering the art of holding and hitting. <laughs> I'll tell you that. If Lennox Lewis held and hit against Michael Grant in New York, Klitschko's done it two or three times here. This is as far from being an art form, as he calls boxing, as he can be. That Klitschko is a power puncher, and he should concentrate on nothing but power. Throw that jab, dig in with hooks. Another big round for Klitschko as he deposits Barrett on his trunks one more time. Deep breath. Deep breath. Two knockdowns breath. in the first nice four rounds. Nice and relax. Nice and relax. How we feel? Okay, okay. Okay, Mark. Because there's so much wrestling going on here, we see we see what Klitschko is doing as he holds right in here with one arm, much as Lennox Lewis did in his last knockdown of uh, Michael Grant. Something that big guys happen to do. It wasn't our, the, the left hand that looked, George, was the one that did it. The right hand just sort of sent him on his way and held him steady for the left. I like to say, I mean, if he either knew how to hold and hit before he came in or he mastered it all at, all at once. Maybe it's just an occupational hazard for these real big guys fighting shorter guys, George. Yeah, you, you find yourself with them under your arm all the time. You think, you get irritated and you just try to push them, then you say, I'm just gonna hit them. That lot of near throws nothing but leather. When it's coming, it's powerful. If you don't set your defense, he's gonna hurt you even if your gloves are in the way. You gotta stay close and keep charging. Vladimir lifting Barrett with just a little uppercut. He's so strong. One of the things that's noticeable to me, George, is that Barrett is having to put out much more energy. Too much energy. And that he looks already worn in this fight. Right cross landed after the left hook. Barrett wobbles one more time. Barrett trying to get inside and hold so that Klitschko can't have free reign to fire those power shots. Barrett has used most of his, most of his energy just struggling. Another right cross lands. Barrett holding on to stay up. Referee warning Klitschko about holding and hitting. That's 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 justified, but I wonder whether it's justified to warn Barrett about holding so much. Usually the guy who's taking most of the punishment is less likely to get warned. Barrett has spent his energy just holding and holding on. Barrett may have a tough time making it through the last minute and 20 of this round. He has taken some thunderous shots in this round. And he's had to muscle this big guy around, push him with a bull or something. Let's see if Klitschko can maximize his opportunity here in the last minute of the fifth against an obviously stove-in Monty Barrett. Uppercut. Uppercut missed. Left hook inside. Barrett holding the whole time. Barrett's corner told him to move his head left and right. Standing with his head straight up. And it's just target practice with the left hook. Vladimir's so quick with the left hook lead, George, he just rips it right through. He hits in the chest. Boom, another left hook. And again, Barrett holds to stay up. And finally goes down. And is the referee going to rule that a knockdown? I don't think he's going to rule it a knockdown, but, but he could have. But Barrett just went down from fatigue, it looked like. Well, and, and the dizziness from those left hooks. And he's tired. Going to make it out of the round. Good body shot. That's a, that's a Franz Bota kind of a body shot. You know, I lurch here. I'm coming over there. Yeah. That was very good. That was very good. 
There's translator. Breathe, Fung breathe, Rafa. breathe calmly. He's, he's finished, he's finished. Just be careful at the beginning of the round and work on your job. And from the right, from the right. And then the, the right hook. And, and then he moves right into it. You have to lift your hands, go. All right, you're telling me you're okay, but you ain't doing nothing. Now we're behind, big time. All right, we're behind big time. All right, take a drink. Turn your hands on the side, just throw some punches. He's dead. The left hook has been the most effective weapon for Klitschko, and he doubles up on there. You don't see big guys doing that sort of thing. I don't know that I've ever seen Lennox Lewis throw a double left hook. See a little less holding, Monty. Certainly not that naturally. You know what I loved yesterday, George? Vladimir Klitschko was so excited to have you in his hotel room. He was like a four-year-old who had just met Santa Claus for the first time. <laughs> I mean, this guy is so innocent. He was like, wow, George Foreman came to my room. Well, guess what, Vladimir? Next year, you might fight for the title that George held twice. And may just win it. <laughs> Only he can use his left jab. He's a taller guy, and he's standing there waiting for big punches. Lands the right hand. Not quite as big as he wanted to. Barrett holds on and then comes back with an uppercut. Now when you see when he jabs, it's just he's too superior. Keep that left jab out there. Use your height. Throw your rights and left when you see an opening. Klitschko said that since he lost to Ross Purity, when basically he just hit the wall and knocked himself out with some help from Purity, he's learned to pace himself. He'll go for his opportunities. And so we, we wonder, has he paced himself? Is he going to run out of gas in the ninth or tenth round if it goes that far? Is that what keeps Barrett going, trying to stay in this fight to see if he caves in? Incidentally, a moment ago, he double left hook to get. So he sells out. Go down. Break it down. See, throwing a left hook should be like ice skating. One foot, then the next foot. If you throw a double left hook, left hook, the right shoulder has to come in play to be able to make an accurate left hook again. So what he does, he dips, he throws a left hook, dips his shoulder, and then throws another left hook. Everything is one, two. You just don't see the other action. Everything. Working from the waist with every left hand shot. Yeah, but right? it has to be one, two, left, right, whether you see the right or not. And that's what a lot of men has, the excellent balance to dip his shoulder right off the left hook and do it again. Don't you think the hardest thing to do offensively, George, is to generate real power off the front foot that way? I mean, people can throw crosses from the back foot and put power into them. But to be able to master the technique of making somebody hurt from the front foot is, is a Well, you don't really want to do it with your front foot. You want to stand there and grip the floor with that right foot and spin that left foot. Spin it. And spin it. Grip the floor and spin that left foot. Barrett missing with an overhand shot. Klitschko's pace slowing again in round six after a big output in round five. Klitschko's inability to do more in this round after Barrett was so hurt suggests that he may be getting a little tired himself. Yeah, exactly. Suggests that stamina is still a question mark for him. Yeah, Barrett's got his shoulder, his head right on the guy's chest. St. Paul's Cathedral, home to so many unforgettable state occasions here in Great Britain. Not to be confused with St. Paul's Church in Covent Garden, where Lennox Lewis and Franz Boto weighed in for this fight three days ago. So they weighed in over in that Westminster area, Covent Garden not too far away from there. But the fight is farther east, over in what we call Old London. Punches in round six, Clinch goes two out of a moderate 37. When, 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 he, when he's hit, he answers back. Be careful. You might catch a glimpse, incidentally, of Vitaly Klitschko, older brother, leaning in behind Vladimir. 
neither brother has ever missed the other's fight. They're totally loyal to each other, and of course, the commonly expressed goal is that they both win heavyweight championships in this world of multiple titles. They can do that. Harold, how do you have it through six? Okay, Jim, I got it five to run, 59-52. Vladimir Klitschko, no question about this one. Certainly, in the in the fifth round, you had to give Vladimir an extra point because he won it so big without a knockdown. Monty Barrett just hasn't been able to really get in some hard shots since early in the fight. I mean, Vladimir doing all the damage. He's winning his fight. On Clean, effective, hard punching. Vladimir has allowed Barrett to get back into the fight. He got his confidence up, throwing left and right, moving forward. He's the aggressor. That's what you don't want. Yeah, indeed, because if, if you've seen either Klitschko brothers' lone loss, in other words, if you saw Vladimir losing to Ross Purity, or if you saw Vitaly losing to Chris Bird, then you might look at this fight and say Barrett's got him right where he wants him. He's lost all or most of the first seven rounds. He's been thoroughly dominated. Klitschko's done most of the work, and that's the kind of fight that each brother has lost once. And Barrett is the, truly the aggressor at this point. Once the exchange is started, he ends up charging more. Right back, clean. Both of you. Right back. Right when you're told. Behave yourself. A couple of rounds ago, Eddie Mustafa Muhammad and Jimmy Glenn in Barrett's corner said to their fighter, well, you're way behind. Just try to throw some punches. And it seems as though he listened to him. He's released his hands more in the last couple of rounds. A lot of men now throws one jab and waits. Eased off on the power shots. This should be a reason for Barrett to attack more. Ooh, what a good right hand. And another. That was a slap, but that first one, boy, it hurt. If only he would just keep that power coming. And Barrett down this time. It was a right cross. And there's a spurt of blood from the right eye of Monty Barrett, who got crushed on that little right cross as he was coming in. And the referee now is going to be watching this real close. Oh, oh boom. What a right hand that was. And that's the fourth knockdown of Barrett in the fight. Remember, Monty coming in had never been knocked down. This Latimer can hit. Fifth knockdown. That ought to do it, and it does. He may not have come from the streaks, but Vladimir Klitschko showed that he could win a street fight tonight. Boy, did he do damage to Monty Barrett in that one-minute stretch that ended the fight. You can see the blood spurting from Barrett's face, and after headlining the left hand throughout the fight, it was as if Vladimir said, okay, are you ready for the right cross? Here it comes. <laughs> a lot of you developed a, a better left jab and look out heavyweight division. Ah, no one would want any part of him. What does he need to do to develop a better left jab? Snap you gotta, it Yeah, you got to get in with the, the American trainers and let them play around with it a little bit more. Uh-huh. And uh, because some of the guys can duck and hide from you and keep you uh, keep you the fight going on and on and on. But he's got the power. His balance, his strength, his timing, he his has, power punch. And he has good balance, like you said earlier, with the double left hook, dipping his right shoulder, coming back. He is he's got the whole package. Now he needs Gil Clancy or something like that, someone like that in his corner. Manny Stewart. Uh, uh oh, he's got the chance. He's busy. <laughs> That's right, he's busy. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at knockdown number one and take a look at this right cross, George. Yeah. Oh, well, knockdown number one is the leftovers from a right cross as he uh, delivers those left hands that ultimately but put Barrett down. But those legs were gone. That yep. was that right hand that did it. That first big right hand yep. that you pointed out. It set it all up. This kid's legs are spread apart, which means that... Total of three knockdowns in the round. Now watch the right hand here on the second knockdown. Boom. Right on top. Suck it. And it was at that point that the blood began spurting from the right eye of Barrett. Here's another angle on the same right hand. Right over top. And here now the third knockdown against an ultra-weary Barrett. That, that right hand went right across like Pearson. Takes everything away from your face almost. Rearranges your nose, your ears. And he was ready for another. You would almost rather get it flush on the jaw than to get straight yeah, across the front of the face oh, like yeah, that. With power yeah. like that. 
So there's a good look at 24-year-old Vladimir Klitschko. He gets the 32nd knockout in 34 wins in his career. He beats a legitimate professional, pretty good American heavyweight, Monty Barrett, takes on a guy who had never been knocked down and knocks him down five times. And this sets up potential title fight talk for Vladimir Klitschko, Larry. With that impressive knockout and perhaps one more fight against a recognized opponent, Vladimir Klitschko joins David Tua, the Samoan from New Zealand, and Oleg Maskeyev, the former Russian Army officer, as the kind of big, strong, powerful heavyweights it may take to truly challenge Lennox Lewis. Ladies and gentlemen, following the last knockdown, referee Richie Davies had no choice but to hold the bout at two minutes and 42 seconds of round number seven, the winner by technical knockout victory, he is the reigning European heavyweight champion, Vladimir Klitschko. Final CompuBox numbers, and Vladimir Klitschko was pretty economical, only throwing 240 punches. That's a relatively slow pace, a little over 30 punches around, but he landed at a very high percentage, 45%, outlanding Barrett by doubling his connect percentage. And, of course, the bulk of the damage done by power punches left hooks in the first six rounds to set up the barrage of right crosses in the seventh round. There are those numbers as Klitschko landed 68 out of 148 power punches. Most impressive when he was doubling and tripling the left hook, as George pointed out. And then when he finally busted up Barrett with the right crosses at the end. Let's go to Larry Merchant with the winner, Vladimir Klitschko. All right, congratulations, Vladimir. You call boxing an art form. That looked like a street fight, wasn't it? Okay, street fight is very fighting with street fight, very, very heavy. And, uh, okay, tonight, I think so it was uh, half street, half boxing fight. <laughs> uh, I'm fighting just seven rounds, or only seven rounds, but it, it's good practice for me. It's good practice, and uh, I show I can win not in first two rounds KO, I can win in last rounds KO. It was good for me. I think so it was very good. And Monty Barrett, He's a good fighter, very good technique. He's moving good. Because you're so tall, aren't more and more fighters going to want to try to get close to you and mess you up in some way so that you don't that you don't have the time to throw your punches and you have to find a way to combat those guys who want to make it rough for you? Uh, I'm sorry. American sports fan, I'm sorry. My English is not so good. I need a... <laughs> Translator. Er sagte, die Leute, die kleinen Kämpfer, die versuchen immer ganz nah an sie ranzukommen und sie dann von innen zu bearbeiten. Okay, I show, I show, I can punching in close distance too. We can look in this fight, and uh, I remember I make two two uppercut very good in close distance. And also the left hook, but not so good. <laughs> this was two, must just one, <laughs> but this was two. All right, you have a choice. Apparently, you could fight Chris Bird. You may be able to fight Evander Holyfield for a belt, or you may be able to fight Lennox Lewis for his title. What is your preference? Yeah, I think so. For ex right now, three big names in profit boxing. Tyson, okay, we, we're looking. Maybe he's fighting mm -hmm. again. Holyfield and Lewis. I think so. Fight with Lewis or Holyfield is the same. It's two big fighters, Lewis or Holyfield. I'm real beginning for this fight. Thank you. We're looking forward to seeing you again. Congratulations. Bye -bye. So the world of possibilities gets just a little bit richer for 24-year-old Vladimir Klitschko. Will he fight for someone's heavyweight title as early as next year? Stay tuned. Meanwhile, still to come tonight.